Logan Paul and KSS slam reports that Prime Energy is being recalled in Canada. Here we star Logan Paul and KSI are slamming reports that claim Prime Energy is being recalled in Canada following concerns from US Senator. Logan Paul and KSI famously joined forces in early 2022 to launch their very own drink brand Prime Hydration, meant to be a competitor to export beverages like Gatorade. Since then, their brand has exploded in popularity, featuring a slew of new flavors and even an energy drink variant, Prime Energy. However, this energy drink line has recently come under fire after U.S. Senator Charles Kumar publicly labeled the company's energy drink a serious health concern. Since then, Prime Energy has been the subject of speculations online and now reports claim that the drink line was recalled in Canada. It was recently reported that Health Canada pronounced on Wednesday it was pulling Prime Energy from store cells, claiming that 200 mg of caffeine is too far. Case and Logan Paul reject reports of Prime Energy being recalled in Canada. KSA first called out these claims in a tweet July 13, writing, We have never even released Prime Energy in Canada, Lamao. And uh, prime energy of uh, ex- prime example of bad idea, Logan Paul. Perhaps you saw the news this morning. Complex, TMZ, Reuters, Forbes, and many more talking about how prime energy drinks were recalled in Canada. But the crazy part about that is we don't even distribute prime energy in Canada. Let me repeat that. We don't even distribute prime energy in Canada. So how could it be recalled? Well, the answer is illegal or unauthorized imports of the beverage. But of course, traditional media doesn't care about that because they just want a headline. They want clicks. The level of misinformation currently being spread around Prime is actually insane. And you have to ask yourself why. Don't forget, we are a better for you product. Our energy drink has 10 calories and zero sugar. Prime formulas are compliant with each specific country's regulatory bodies. All of them. And yeah, our energy drink has caffeine in it. It's an energy drink. And no, our low sugar, low calorie hydration drink doesn't have caffeine caffeine in it but traditional news and by the way they're not even news anymore it should be called stories because people are just making shit up to get clicks they know that if they talk about prime whether the information they're spreading is true or not they will get attention on a product that is legitimately better for you lower in sugar lower in calories and healthier ingredients than most of our competitors so you know it actually doesn't surprise me that we're being targeted by massive corporate conglomerates and the (laughs) united states government because using social media we've effectively created a beverage so disruptive that it is eating the market share of some of the biggest corps on the planet and quite Frankly, they're pissed. We're taking money out of their pocket. But honestly, I'm happy that people are seeing through the BS. I think the government and traditional media underestimates the collective intelligence of you, the American people. And although some people will be fooled, I am thankful that social media has given us, underdogs, trying to make a business, a disruptive, better-for-you business, a voice to talk about the truth. Don't be fooled by the media. Take every headline with a grain of salt. And most importantly, drink Prime. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk.